feel honored to be out here. Out of 16 for 295 yards, two pa uh, passing touchdowns, and two rushing touchdowns. That's an MVP performance. Uh, you had the last Saturday. Um, I wanted to ask you uh, you've shown you're actually good. Sometimes during the season we were like saying, okay, Zoratka is great, but sometimes it's not that consistent. What do you answer to this? For me, this game, um, there wasn't so much pressure on me because we tried to establish a run game, and our goal was to keep the Rhinos' offense off of the field. So I didn't have to do too much, um, but when my number was called, I think I made the most of it and my receivers played outstanding as well as the offensive line. Uh, during the last couple of years, so you made the different, uh, different um, experiences like in Prague and uh, so it was very busy. Um, show, uh, tell us what are the difficulties you faced during the last two seasons that lead you to this uh, championship? No, for me, the difficulties is always trying to start up a new championship because you're not familiar with any of the guys so you always have to build timing and confidence in your receivers and you know figure out uh the best plays to run with given the system that you play in um we played a spread offense the past four years i've been in europe so for me it's not so hard but just timing and knowing where guys will be on the field is probably the hardest thing and usually it starts slow and then picks up and then middle and the end of the season is when the guys are moving at their uh, highest and fastest. Yes, talking about mentality, uh, sometimes you had to come back into games during the second half this season, for example in the semi-final with Parma. Uh, we always noticed that you were very, very confident, you and your, uh, and your uh, mates. Um, how did you do it? How did you keep uh, pressure low and come back to the, to the field and win those games? We just had that mentality to uh, win the day, win the week and during the game, we tried to go out and win each play. Um, against Parma in the semifinals, the first half uh, couldn't have went any worse for us. I think that our offense played pretty poorly and our defense, they gave up 20 points, but they were still playing fundamentally sound football. Um, and then the second half, I think we, we caused four turnovers against them and our offense started to click at the right time. And we just, as a quarterback, you need to have as much confidence as possible because if you're not confident in the huddle, speaking to your guys, then your guys won't feel confident in you. And I think that will just lead to, you know, trouble in, in general. And I try to be as confident as possible all the time. Speaking about the Italian national team, the blue team, uh, you started as a backup to Monardi last year, and then you carried the, the national team to the qualification for the European, which, is, which are gonna take place next year. Um, what is the outlook of this, uh, of this team? I confess that we are pretty confident about you because uh, this year both the Seamen and the Rhinos uh, proved that uh, Italian football can say its word in the European uh, challenges. Yeah, I started playing with the blue team in 2015 and having the chance to play for any national team is a privilege. Um, I came in knowing I was going to be a backup because Tommy's been here for many years. So I just wanted to learn the playbook and gain the trust of the coaches and different players on the team. And uh, especially last year, in 2016, when I was in Prague, they had many camps that I wasn't able to attend because of my commitment to my games. So after that season finished, I came here ready to work. And once they were able to call my number and give me a shot, I knew I had to do the best I could. We went through your uh, recent experiences. Uh, amongst them, there is also a camp done in the U.S. in the 2016, if I'm not missing. Uh, basically, what are your expectations for your future, for your near future? Uh, for me, my goal when I came and started playing European football was to uh, take my talents as far as my talents allowed me to go. And I started playing in a second division league here in Europe. I progressed to the first league and then I last year I made it into the uh, top league in Austria which is really good competition. Um, obviously everyone has their NFL and CFL hopes. Um, I gave a tryout in the CFL last year. It didn't go as planned. It, I mean going through any of those tryouts your chances of making the team are very very slim. So I'm really content and happy with playing in Europe and getting to travel the world and doing what I love. So I'm happy with how, how far I've made it. Okay, last question. Um, 
you played in high school, of course, in the US, you also played for Bentley University for years. And uh, how did this uh, uh, American preparation got you ready for this kind of football? And how is it different, uh, this football, from the one played in the US? Uh, playing in high school and college uh, allowed me to learn a lot. And being an import player here in Europe, you are playing as well as coaching. So everything I learned from playing, I get to help spread it to the younger guys and hopefully I can help them grow as a player as well. So I take pride in seeing improvement in other quarterbacks that I get to talk to and try and teach. Um, as far as the football, playing in the US is, is like a job when you're in college. I mean, you go to class, you go to practice, you go home, you do your homework, and then you go the next day and repeat. Then the next day you might have to go to a lift at six o'clock in the morning, train, go eat, go to class, practice, repeat. So that's the job in, the, in and of it itself. And here in Europe, everyone here has a job or is a student themselves. So they have their daily life. And then afterwards they come and play football. I mean, that shows the true passion and love they have for the game to keep playing the sport, even though they're busy with their daily life. And when you're a student playing in college, like that is your job. So you are it's mandatory to go into practice and stuff like that. These guys are doing it voluntarily on their own. And I mean, to see the love of the game is really something that I truly appreciate. And we appreciate your time, Luke. Thank you, Thank so you much. very much. Yes. You want to say something to our Feed of TV audience? Sure. Go blue and respect the champs.